One thing I love about the Chromebook market right now is the fact that we're seeing so many variations of different devices. So this is the Acer Chromebook 715. And when we saw this device in New York City alongside the 714, which we have already reviewed in depth, it just kind of felt like a bigger version of the 714 and it's got a number pad and stuff like that on it. But the price tags for these particular Chromebooks that were kind of geared towards enterprise use never really felt competitive at all and honestly just kind of got dismissed. But because it we're in that time now where we're seeing all sorts of variations on these existing Chromebooks, we're getting to the point where we have a lot of variations that are worth considering if you're looking at buying a Chromebook. And this is one of those. And until we saw this particular device and this particular model, I honestly was kind of disinterested. And now I've become pretty interested and I think you might be too. So let's check out why. Today's video is brought to you by NordVPN, another VPN of choice for millions of consumers, including users that use Chromebooks because they keep your browsing safe and secure whether you're out and about or at home. All you have to do to go find out more about them and to get started today is head over to chromeunbox.com forward slash NordVPN. As I said there in the open, this is not that different from the Chromebook 714. The internal specs are a lot the same, the ports are the same, the speaker set's the same, the screens are kind of the same, trackpads, keyboards, all that kind of stuff. It's just a bigger version of it. So it's a 15.6 inch full HD screen. It does have the number pad on the side, which is kind of a unique feature for a handful of Chromebooks at this point now. And this particular model drops the fingerprint scanner. And so we're gonna talk about a little bit of those things and why it is now that this Chromebook is actually something that's pretty intriguing because ultimately this is a Chromebook that starts at around eight or nine hundred dollars if you get the version that we initially saw when we were in New York. So we're talking Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, I think 64 or 128 gigs of storage, that kind of stuff, fingerprint scanner, backlit keyboard, the, all, all, the, all the bells and whistles that you could think of right now in Chromebooks. And this particular version of this device kind of leaves out a handful of those things. So let's talk through some of the things that are left out on this particular one. First up is the fingerprint scanner. I miss it. It's one of the things when I reviewed the 714, I said was one of my favorite things about that Chromebook. And I would love to see it on here. But again, we're gonna get to the price here in just a second. And you're gonna kind of understand why they made some of these sacrifices with this model. But this one does not come, don't, you know, don't think that just because you're getting a 715 that you're getting a fingerprint scanner. This one most definitely does not have a fingerprint scanner on it. Secondly, and perhaps most oddly, this one does doesn't have backlit keys. And the reason I say it's odd, it's not because they're not on there, it's because I think this Chromebook thinks it has them. Um, there's a sticker actually on the bottom of it here that says backlit keyboard. And actually when you do the backlit keyboard shortcut on here, the thing pops up at the bottom where it shows you adjusting the backlit keys, but trust me, this doesn't have a backlit keyboard on it. We reached out to Acer. They were supposed to try to get the listing fixed on walmart.com, which is where this one is available. And so far we have not seen that. So if you're out shopping, it still says it has backlit keys. It doesn't have backlit keys, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's a good keyboard. It's solid. The keys feel clicky and I've enjoyed typing on it just fine. And the number pad's nice. Anytime you got to enter numbers, it's nice to have it over there, especially if you're used to using one, but it does drop the backlit keyboard and that's kind of a bummer. And those are two legitimate omissions on this device. I mean, if you're expecting to get a fingerprint scanner and backlit keys and you don't, that's kind of a letdown. But if you know that going in, the rest of this device is all exactly the same as all the other variations. Matter of fact, this one comes with a Core i3 processor, so it's an eighth gen Core i3. So performance is not an issue whatsoever. It's on the same level as the Dell Inspiron and the Acer Chromebook 714 that we reviewed before. So no performance issues. It does come with four gigs of RAM. I'm back and forth on four gig of RAM machines. It's it's okay. Uh, I do wish it had eight, but this one has four. But it also comes with 128 gigs of internal storage, which is pretty awesome. There's not a whole lot of devices on the market with that much internal storage. And you know you have a micro SD card on there as well. And we talked about ports and all that kind of stuff and speakers and everything in that other review. Again, it's linked in the in the description down there. You can go check it out if you want a more in depth review here. But in general, we're talking all aluminum, full HD, touch screen. Uh, uh, it's it's anti-glare, a great tr keyboard, a number pad, a fully glass trackpad, and just a good user experience, honestly, when you pick this thing up and go to use it as a Chromebook. And we've saved the best part for last. This device we purchased at Walmart for $300, so $299 technically plus tax. Right now, as we're filming this, it went up to $350, 
but even at that price, I will tell you, this is the best 15 inch Chromebook. If you're looking for a large Chromebook with a bigger screen, this is the best experience I've had on a 15 inch Chromebook for the price. Now, we've messed with the Lenovo Chromebook, so that the, the Yoga C630 Chromebook, both in the full HD and 4K variants. I would say overall, those are uh, a little bit better quality Chromebooks. I like them a little bit better. Not a ton better, a little bit better but they're also twice the price. I mean, right now the 1080p version of the Lenovo is on sale for almost twice of what this one cost us. And if you get into the 4K one, you're up in the seven, $800 range. So when I say for the money, there's nothing you can buy in the 300 to $350 range that's gonna give you everything we're talking about here. And again, all aluminum, full HD, touchscreen, anti-glare, glass trackpad, great keyboard, huge internal drive, very fast processor. You're just not gonna get that at this kind of price. And so that's why I said earlier, at its initial price and offering, I wasn't too interested in it. But now at this price with this particular configuration, I've just enjoyed using this Chromebook, and I think a lot of you out there will as well, especially if you're looking for something that's not gonna break the bank and you can get a lot of bang for your buck. This is one that you might really wanna consider. And again, right now, it's at walmart.com. We'll have the link in the description so you can go check it out. But guys, that's been it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Till next time, we'll see you.